Hi everyone, it's Tomoya. Um, so today I want to make this video for someone who's interested in moving to the electric cello. You don't actually have to move, you can play, you know, a regular cello or not even a cello. You can just add this to your arsenal if you'd like. Um, I personally came from the double bass into the acoustic cello, a wood, you know, cello, um, then into a carbon fiber cello, and then into one of these instruments, but without the frets. And recently, I've been playing this instrument with frets. Uh, this is the NS design. What is it? NXT, something like that. The uh, fret, fretted cello. Um, so this is for basically for someone like me. I wanted to find more information about this instrument, and I kind of couldn't. Um, I didn't really find anyone online that talked about this instrument. So. First question is, what's the difference between fret, fretted, and non-fretted? The non-fretted is the more normal cello type, uh, which you can probably see me play on um, in my previous videos um, in the past. This has frets. So if I press hard, and in general, fretted instruments, I, um, you don't have to press too hard. If I press somewhat hard, you can tell that these frets are on every single half note, a half step. Feels really weird at first. Um, I actually tried this instrument like, I don't know, five, seven, ten years ago, and I really was kind of not liking it, so I didn't buy it at the time. But something changed in me, and now I'm kind of, you know, was able to play it. So if I press hard, it does. I realized after playing it for a while is that if I don't press hard, just like a guitar, electric, uh, not electric, but just a guitar or um, electric, what is it, bass, I didn't know about this, you can actually press somewhat light. It's kind of this feeling where you're pressing to the side, right? You can still play a note even if you can press to the side, you're not actually pressing down to the front. You're going halfway, sort of. So you could do things like If I press, it might be more like And you might not like the fact that it only goes to certain notes in between, um, only to the half steps. But if I control my finger And you realize that I could also vibrate a little bit if I press hard, you can still hear a little bit. But if I loosen up a little bit and kind of wiggle the string, I wouldn't say it's as controlled as a non-fretted instrument, but I think it sounds great. Even big shifts like of course it's not gonna be as slidey as non-fretted instrument but I think this is great um, I personally wanted to experiment with instrument because with this instrument because I was always kind of worried about intonation in myself um, I always wanted to kind of go high and then when I go high or when I play certain notes I would always have to kind of set myself to be like, okay, this is where the fourth position is, or this is where the first position is. Now I look back, maybe I was a little too paranoid about it, but this kind of took away some of the, you know, the negative feelings in me. Not that I can't play, um, not, not that I can always play in tune. Uh, the funny thing is that now if I want to play a certain note, let's say I want to play this D and I'm sliding, it'll either go to or a half step up or down, which in some situations, it's more wrong <laughs> than playing a quarter tone sharps or quarter tone flannel. But I personally like it, especially for jazz, because it's okay, right? If I want to play like, and if I mess up, <laughs> then it's fine. It's there's no really wrong note I mean, of course, there's an intention of the right note, and if you don't get into the intention, you might feel like it's the wrong note, but you can kind of change your mind and be like, okay, that's fine, you know. 
The other thing is that, I mean, I won't say everything. If you have any questions about this instrument, um, please let me know and I could answer as much as I can. Um, you know, like strings and bows and how to get sounds and all that stuff. The other thing is that the bow is the same as an uh, acoustic cello. You know, what is it? You know. Technique is exactly the same. So, you know, just... I think I was able to get used to this instrument faster than I imagined. Um, so that's it for today. If you have any questions about this instrument, th this kind of, I mean, even electric cellos, even non-fretted ones, um, there are many, play many people playing it um, more than you think. <laughs> so, but if you have any questions for me, please let me know. Thank you. See you.